So I've been he hearing some kind of um, disturbing things about uh, people getting not just ripped off, like trying to buy drugs online, which is kind of given, you know, if you go and you know, buy stuff from strangers on the internet, regardless of what it is, right? With no guarantee, no insurance, no whatever. Yeah, you know, you always run into that risk by thinking everybody's going to be honest and, you know, trustworthy and forthcoming, which, uh, you know, we've all made that mistake. But what's more concerning is not just that people are getting ripped off trying to buy drugs, but that they're uh, getting blackmailed on top of that. So it's one thing to get ripped off, right? Somebody sells you, you know, in, in the situations that I've heard because I'm part of this Reddit group, I'm part of a lot of Reddit groups, but this one particular one, the uh, RLSD group that I'm, I'm on, uh, a lot of people are asking me like, hey, how do I get, you know, find this and how do I find LSD or I live in fucking Kansas, you know, and I can't get any fucking shit. Can't find any fucking LSD, I really want to try it, but I don't know who to buy it from, and yada, 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 right? You know, those are the pains of buying legal drugs, but these people are asking me. Now, I'm a little bit different just because I'm kind of, a, you know, somewhat, um, somewhat of a high-profile person where people, if they don't know me directly, like, at least know who I am or, like, where I can find me and shit like that, right? So, you know, in that sense, it probably gives them a kind of a false sense of security because that really doesn't mean a whole lot, but it makes them feel better, right? Like I'm more trustworthy. What I actually am a trustworthy guy, but that's not the point. The point is, is that these people are asking strangers, and these people are telling me stories about how they got ripped off. And um, the ripped off part is less concerning than the fact that people are getting blackmailed, right? I mean, people are not only getting ripped off, right? They, you know, they're getting their money taken, just straight up punked for it. But then the person who ripped them off is coming back and be like, "Oh, I know where you live. You know, I, I follow. You know, I looked you up on Instagram, or I fucking looked you up on Facebook. Now I know what school you go to. A lot of these people are in high school." You know, or younger people, and uh, you know, and they're just getting blackmailed. They're straight up getting fucking blackmailed. Like, you better send me another hundred bucks, or I'm gonna post this shit all over your Facebook school, saying that you're a drug dealer, or whatever, right? Whatever, make something up, whatever they want to say. And it's like, wow, it's like that's how fucking bad it is. It's like you steal somebody's money and then you blackmail them for more. Talk about fucked up. Like, if I ever caught one of these guys that's doing this, man, I'd fucking break their legs. You know, I mean, back in the day, I kind of get it, like. I get it if you live in the Midwest, you don't know anybody, or you're, you know, a lot of people have social skills, like, I'm sorry, lack of social skills, and they just don't fucking have any way, they don't know how to approach people, they don't know how to, you know, they're not a good judge of character, you know, they, you know, they're basically, you know, social ostriches, and uh, they don't know how to, like, figure it out, like we did, right, on the street, find people that you think are trustworthy, like, if you're in school, you want to buy LSD, you want to buy shrooms, and buy psychedelics, look for some hippie kids, look for some fucking, you know, Grateful Dead fucking t-shirts, whatever, I mean, I mean, you know, it varies from, you know, decade to decade, but, I mean, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, so I get it, but it's like, shit, man, I mean, it's just sad, it's sad, and there's not a lot you can do about it, I mean, some people will say, oh, well, they were stupid, and they, you know, bought this, but it's like, you know what, if you grow up in the age of the internet, when you're born with the internet in your hand, right, I could see how people would try to use that as a source to buy you know, illicit substances. Um, you know, when I, when I was in my teens, right, I, uh, we didn't have the internet. So we didn't have that even as an option to do that. That was not, not even an option. So we had to rely on other skills like being social, being kind of aware of who you're around, like word of mouth. There wasn't no fucking, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. There was no reviews, you know, no stars. Uh, you know, uh, there was no yelping people. There was no fucking shit, right? I mean, your credibility was on the street. If you got punked, you either go and punk them back with your buddies or, you know, you spread that word. If you can't do that, you'd spread it so loud and clear through the drug circles that nobody would buy this from this guy again. You know, that's kind of how that rolled. But today, it's a lot different, right? And so I'm just telling you guys, be careful. Be careful buying drugs online. Be careful buying drugs from strangers, period. And I feel sorry for those people who are trying to buy, you know, buy like something like LSD for the first time and are getting either bunk shit or they're getting like um, some sort of synthetic form of LSD, which is not. It makes you feel different. It makes you high, but it's not LSD. I don't even know what it is. There's a couple of variations of it. But uh, either way, guys, be careful. It's like uh, people don't care anymore. Well, they never really did, but uh, it's even worse nowadays with the Internet because people are anonymous. Before, at least, if you got punked, they'd punk you to your face. You know, I have to run that gamut. But now it's like, I can just punk you from fucking, fucking Russia. Fucking, you know, wherever, wherever they want to punk you from. So, uh, you know, be careful about that. And, uh, yeah, you know.